I do have a big dream. I do have a big dream. I want to own a coffee shop with a loft above it. Just a place where you could come, get a cup of coffee, and relax. It'd be a hipster joint, though. <laughs> I'm Cyrus Whitaker, C-Y-R-U-S-W-H-I-T-T-A-K-E-R. -E well, I, I lived in Texas for a while, moved to Missouri. Uh, you know, life happened in Missouri, and I stuck my thumb out, and here I am. I'm still wanting to go farther west. This, I'm trying to find the place where I feel at home. My family didn't like who I was. I came out of the closet. <laughs> that and coupled with a, yeah, a little bit of alcoholism. That, yeah, that's my bad, but... So did they kick you out of the house? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Springfield, Missouri, you were just another person, but here it seems like you're just scum on the street, something to be wiped away. Uh, when I'm out flying a sign, sometimes people, uh, you know, they'll pay a couple bucks. Sometimes they'll give you the bird, though, which is lovely. It's like, well, God bless you too, sir. See how Colorado feels. If not, keep going west. Yeah. Very. You just hitchhike the whole way. Oh yeah. Yep. Meet some pretty colorful characters too. First couple that picked me up, or first people that picked me up in Missouri, was a woman named Moose and a guy named Pyrite. Did you get into a shelter in February for that ice storm, or were you out here? Nope, I, I was actually out at the prayer gardens, across from the Jesus house, before they bulldozed that. So how was that? How was surviving? How'd you survive that? <laughs> Bundled up. Yeah. Bundled up or got in another tent with a bunch of other people. Do you have any frostbite? Tips of my fingers. If, I get, if my fingers get too cold, they hurt. I, I'm getting feeling back finally. But, yeah. I, I've also got nerve damage anyway. Hardest thing about being out here, finding people you can trust. I would say is the hardest thing, because what's sad is she's, you you can help people out, but they'll still steal from you. It's like I'm homeless and I'm helping out the homeless. Come on, it's like it's goofy. It's like I would have given it to you if you had just asked, or let you borrow it or something. That's why I don't have anything really uh, nice. How would you describe yourself in one word? Person. Eccentric. <laughs> Very eccentric. <laughs> I'm an internet person. Back before I was homeless, I was definitely around on the internet a lot. So yeah, a lot of the stuff that I say, <laughs> everybody's like, where did that come from? Oh, sorry, I, I came from the internet. We're going to be posting this on the internet. Okay. Is there anything... Hi, people! Yeah, is there anything you would want to say to anyone that might see it? Adopt me today. <laughs> um... Count your blessings, because you never know when you can have everything just wiped out from under your feet and having to start over again. <laughs>